We must take action to address addiction, which has become one of the most urgent social issues facing our city and the province. Since 2019, Alberta's government has taken action to provide more addiction treatment options for Albertans. We've expanded addiction treatment capacity, made opioid addiction treatment available on demand, and worked with police to ensure they are part of the solution. But our work cannot stop there. We are going to continue to build a system of addiction and mental health care that is focused on prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery. To further address these social issues affecting our city, my cabinet colleagues and I are establishing the Calgary Public Safety and Community Response Task Force. The task force will implement a series of initiatives in Calgary focusing on treatment, addiction, uh, mental health and homelessness and improving public safety. The Calgary Public Safety and Community Response Tra Task Force will be chaired by Minister Nixon, will begin work immediately on implementing the $187 million in funding to address these issues in Alberta's urban centres. Specifically in Calgary, nearly $58 million of this funding will go directly towards addressing addiction and homelessness here in Alberta's largest city. The work this funding covers includes further increasing treatment capacity with a new recovery community in Calgary, transforming correctional living units uh, into treatment centres, creating hybrid health and police hubs in Calgary's downtown, expanding medical detox services, deploying harm reduction and recovery outreach teams, expanding access to emergency shelter space, piloting a service hub model to increase access to recovery, and improving access to affordable housing options that support recovery. Our government takes the addiction crisis and its related concerns very seriously. We've heard loud and clear from municipalities across Alberta about the need for a collaborative approach, and we are committing to that, including right here in Calgary. I think probably the big piece that you see here is the level of coordination and alignment. When you look around across the spectrum of the leaders that are here, and the organizations that are represented, they're engaged and involved on the ground with their teams. Uh, and lots of good work is being done, as we know. But I think it's in the coordination and the alignment of that work, making sure that we're all uh, engaged across the continuum. There's certainly a place for police uh, to be specifically engaged, but there's many times where police are not the best response. And it's great to be able to see leaders at this level uh, coming together to make sure that we coordinate the efforts all across that continuum so that we can have the best outcomes for the people that are struggling with addictions as well as the people in the community that are, that are communicating that they're feeling unsafe. So we've brought community together, we've brought layers of government, we've brought service providers, we've brought Indigenous leaders together so that we can work towards addressing these very complex issues. Since I worked the front lines, the challenges have gotten more complex, challenging the addictions, issues and the mental health issues have gotten worse and so there's still work to be done. So I look forward to being able to build on the success of the great leaders behind me and the many great leaders across the city and to partner with this team to continue to move forward to help address this very challenging issue of homelessness, addiction and mental health in our communities.